Hey there, welcome to Matt Scratch. Well, I'm just coming at you with a quick little tech tip here today um, about these uh, paint straining funnels. This is a 190 micron uh, paint strainer, and you can actually use this to do an at home oil analysis. You know how when you take a sample of your oil and you send it out to a lab and they analyze it for bearing materials and all that? Well, this isn't going to be quite as accurate. But this is an awful fine screen here, and uh, if you drain your oil through it and it doesn't catch anything, you're probably good to go. Um, if your engine is failing, it's going to definitely make, uh, you know, chips of metal that will catch in here um, from failing bearings and stuff. I've had that happen before, and uh, you get a significant amount of uh, metal flakes in the oil, and it will definitely show up. So I'm just going to be doing this here today on this uh, 2003 PT Cruiser Turbo that my mom recently bought. And uh, she's going to be taking it on a long trip, so I just want to ensure that there's no hidden issues with it or anything. So if I drain the oil through this uh, strainer here and nothing catches in it, I'll be pretty confident that this engine's still in good shape internally. So I've already warmed up the engine here, so we're just going to jump underneath, uh, drain the oil out through this, and uh, I'll show you as we go, and I'll show you if we catch anything in this. Okay guys, here we are. I've got my uh, drain pan, I've got my funnel, and I'm just going to hold it over the drain pan. And it's important to have pretty clean hands, and for the bogging of your car to be relatively clean, otherwise you could end up with... Uh, debris in there that might confuse you and make you think that you uh, had debris in your oil. So this is 18 millimeter. I think that somebody uh, swapped that out for an oversized plug because they were never that big originally, but uh, there just should be a 13 there. So I'm going to get that drain plug out and uh, put the funnel under in one swift motion. Yeah, I spilled a little, but 98% of it went through the funnel, so it should give us a pretty clear indicator. This is where the sludge and the debris is on the bottom of the pan, so I'm making sure I let it drain through the strainer as well. Okay, guys, it's pretty well down to a drip here, so I'd say if there was metal in there, it's going to show up. Just be real careful not to contaminate the strainer as you move out from under the car. So I put the strainer right away on this clean shop towel here to make sure no contaminants and just let it drain off. And this is literally my first look at it too. And it's looking pretty good. You can see... You can see a couple little flecks right on the bottom there. But that could just be from from uh, debris falling in it even. There's so little. If there was an issue with this engine, there'd be a heck of a lot more than that. I'd expect this whole uh, tip to be full up. See if we can turn that inside out and just get a really good look at what's going on there. Let's try and... So it is definitely uh, metal. Now I did notice that somebody just changed a drain plug and put an oversized one in so maybe this is aluminum bits. So uh, I'm going to get a magnet here and just see if these stick to it. Uh, I've got a relatively clean magnet here and I'm just going to see if the uh, pieces come off my finger and go on it or not. Because if they don't then they're aluminum and it's not an issue. You can see uh, most of them are still on there. I think one of them transferred, just one of them. So the rest are all aluminum. There was only one tiny fleck of steel and all that. And it's pretty tiny. So I'm not really too concerned about that. 
So there you go. That's how you do a, a budget at home oil analysis. And uh, you can see you can get some pretty uh, concrete results, you know, especially when you involve the magnet to, uh, to determine what the uh, metal particles are from. If it was uh, steel, like bearing material or ring material or anything, it should stick to that magnet. I do hope you found this video helpful and informative. Thanks a lot for watching Matt Scratch. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have yourself a great day.